Actinic keratosis are known as precancerous lesions. So if you leave them alone and don't treat them, many of them evolve into real skin cancer. What actinic keratosis also represent is really extreme photo damage. And almost everyone these days over the age of 50 has a lot of photo damage. So what photodynamic therapy does is we actually put a chemical on the face or the area of the body that we're treating. And it's the closest thing to a magic bullet that we have. This chemical called ALA penetrates into the damaged cells, including the cells of actinic keratosis, which represent precancerous cells. And then we activate that chemical with a series of lasers and light-based technologies. What we found over th the years is that it's not just one laser light-based technology that's important but oftentimes we will use a number of different lasers or light-based technologies sequentially in order to get the best results. So not only are we preventing the development of skin cancer, we're also treating skin cancers and early skin cancers that are present. And then the great news is we're also rejuvenating your skin at the same time. Dystrophic pigmentation or brown blotches will go away with treatment. Sometimes the blood vessels will go away with treatment and will even stimulate new collagen formation to eliminate wrinkles. There are many ways to treat precancerous lesions like actinic keratosis. The most common method is to apply a topical cream, but unfortunately those creams, like 5-FU or Imiquinod, will make the patient feel red and look red and swollen for periods of many weeks. So photodynamic therapy takes away that and you can treat a patient and within a few days, the patient comes back to normal. Another common way of treating actinic keratosis is the use of liquid nitrogen. A liquid nitrogen spray can be sprayed onto each individual lesion, and it causes it to blister and crust up, and the lesion eventually falls away. Sometimes, however, the treatment with liquid nitrogen will cause hypopigmentation or a white mark, and that can at times be looking unsightly. Liquid nitrogen is also fairly painful to use. And finally, when you're using a liquid nitrogen therapy just on the individual lesions, you're not really treating the real problem. Because if someone has just one or two actinic keratoses, they usually have hundreds all over their body or their face that we cannot see. So the field therapy that we're doing with photodynamic therapy not only treats the lesions that we can see, but does a preemptive strike in treating lesions that are not yet clinically apparent. In the future, photodynamic therapy will continue to improve in its efficacy. We're developing new light-based technologies that actually will allow the chemical, ALA, to penetrate into the skin more effectively and more quickly. So instead of the typical one to three hour waiting times, patients will soon be able to come into our offices wait with the application just for a few minutes before doing the laser treatment. This, of course, will make it more efficient for both the physician as well as the patient.